All right, here we go. Got out my canteens, ammo boxes, flag, other random stuff. Thought I'd share it with you. Right here I've got a medical, some kind of medical kit. Still got a lot of the unused supplies and stuff in there. Even the medicine, which obviously is probably not any good anymore, but I like that. Got these two huge ammo boxes right here. Same size. Really big. Hold a lot of stuff in there. Right here, I know what it looks like. It looks like an M16, which it is in a way. This is what I was told is called a trainer. It's made of some kind of hard plastic or casing or something. But anyways, I was told that it was what they trained the soldiers with before they actually issued them the weapon. I guess so they can get used to handling it and using it properly. But um, not quite as heavy as the real thing, but overall they did a really good job on this thing. I've never seen one before, so I got it. Moving on here, I have my canteens. This one is, I uh, can't really see it, but it's 1942. This one, 1918. This one right here, 1945. And then... Uh, few other ones here I'm not going to undo all of them but this one right here is actually Vietnam it's plastic but so I share my canteens with you got all my ammo boxes here got a lot of them As you can see these just about every day you know if you're just getting into collecting you know canteens ammo boxes um, that's what I started with you know and after I got you know you know eight or ten of each I moved on to other things moving on I got this old picture of Douglas MacArthur everybody knows he was a great general really old the paper is old and everything um, didn't see a date on it but I'd say probably the 40s if not earlier but right here I've got my meatball flag overall it's in really good shape my silk Japanese flag no writing on it or anything just a few little rust stains on it but overall really good shape right here is this little statue of this little boy it's made out of I guess concrete it's really heavy it is broken right there at the base but I thought it was really cool it actually reminds me of me when I was a kid and my son he's only three right now but he likes all my stuff he thinks it's cool and everything so hopefully he gets into it when he's a little bit older right here I've got these goggles here I'm guessing there's some kind of motorcycle goggles which are really old especially this pair it's worn out seen its days I think these might be a little bit newer not sure if they're World War II or Korea or what but really cool though I like them a lot and also I have this thing never seen one before this is actually some kind of a, a toy I don't know if they're mass produced I don't believe so if it's something that a soldier made for his kid after the war it looks like it might be World War One era it's really old it's got this uh, crank handle here like a jack-in-the-box and when you crank it there's a spring in there and it rears back and there's a screw and the screw taps on the end of the of the um, it's a 75 millimeter shell can it taps on there and it sounds like a like a machine gun almost it's really cool never seen one before like I said I don't know if they made a bunch of them or if this is one of a kind or what but I definitely wasn't gonna let this go still works really great my son's always wanting to play with it but I gotta keep it away from him because I know if he gets a hold of it you know it won't be a good thing because he's very curious but anyways like I said just thought I'd share this other stuff with you but as always please subscribe please tell your friends you know if you're into military collecting or just getting into it or been doing it for a long time you know it's cool sharing each other's videos and becoming friends and helping each other out spreading the word so I'm JDB JDB09
Please subscribe, like it, share it, tell your friends, comment on it. Check all my other videos, a lot of good stuff. And as always, thank you for watching.